Uh, I think we might pick up a sprinkle or two. It certainly looks like it could with that overcast sky that's draped over the city at the moment. And there are rains that look like they're poised to move into the metro. But if, even if you do pick up a drop or two, it may end up being just that, a very light rain in the metro. Bordner Home Improvement City Cam. 81 degrees from KCI to Gladstone Liberty. Kearney's at 80 as well. It's a little bit of sunshine in the Northland. Areas to the south running a little bit cooler and to the west where the clouds are a little thicker. Leavenworth is in the upper 70s, Overland Park and the downtown area also at 79 degrees. Well, this is a better way to look at it. You can see the color difference with the warmest weather to the southeast where mid 80s are found from Sedalia to Clinton and it cools into the low 70s around Maryville and St. Joe. A cold front is cutting right through the heart of the city right now and it's actually turned our winds to a northerly direction at KCI where temperatures now are at 81. Skies uh, looking pretty cloudy in most locations and St. Joe coolest spot on that board at 73. Temperatures by two will bump up about a degree to about 82 but essentially holding steady all the way through about four or five o'clock and then we start to see that temperature decline by six. 30% rain chances at about 4 to 6 o'clock in the evening. We should ramp that chance for rain up a little bit later on this evening to 40% between 9 and 11. Keep in mind, those 40% chances are generally south of I-70. So if you're in the metro, it looks like we may not see much rain at all. Here's your allergy report. And well, ragweed's been around now for a couple of weeks and it's going to hang on until we get that first hard freeze. And the mold count's been high. We've had various types of mold. Right now, Calatosporium appears to be the main culprit. 61 degrees early in the day on Wednesday, bumping up to about 83. Now you start the day with cloud cover at 61 degrees, but the afternoon turns into all sunshine, 83 at about four o'clock in the afternoon. And the humidity level takes a little bit of a dip tomorrow. I think you'll like the feel of the air. Here's a look at live power Doppler radar from our site in Belton, picking up those showers right along and just north of US Highway 36. These are moderate rains that are falling from Fall City, Nebraska over towards Maryville. Bethany should see some rain out of this too, with more rain just to the west. Here's your forecast track. Yeah, the rains kind of fade away, but look what develops. Storms to the south of us, that's all south of I-70. There's your clearing skies that take place throughout the day late tomorrow. There is a threat for a strong or severe storm. Does not include the metro any longer. SPC, the Storm Prediction Center, has pushed that farther to the south with a 5% threat for wind and hail. And rain, yeah, not much to write home about here. Less than a tenth of an inch with heavier amounts well to the south. Security Bank, seven-day forecast, 83 Wednesday, 86 Thursday, 88 Friday, as temperatures really start to ramp up over the weekend. Then here come the 90s, marching in over the weekend. Highs Saturday, 90, 91 Sunday, 90 Monday. Low temperatures, upper 60s, air conditioner units. Yep, a lot of times you shut them down for the season at about this time of the year, but those ACs, Carolina, will be going full blast. Yeah, over the not weekend. so fast. <laughs> exactly. <laughs>